Hello. It's fall day and it is impossibly bright out here. Obviously, it's not. It's not 6 a.m. right now. So I think that today's vault could be up there with one of the more difficult ones, at least on paper. Not only do the movements seem incredibly deceiving, uh, but it has gotten really hot out, and I'm not complaining, this is exactly what I've been asking for, but it is really warm outside, and that's gonna change things up quite a bit. Another interesting little caveat to this workout is I will be doing supine rows instead of banded pull-ups. And if you remember, I've done these before. I did them in a workout recently with the bench that I'll be using to actually jump over, but these did not go super well because I kept slipping and it really didn't feel comfortable, but I'm, I'm gonna do them today. I said in that last video where I attempted them that I thought it was my setup that was kind of lacking. So that's what I'm gonna improve on today. Try and get this nice and set up well. I think what I have is good. And then try something new. So I can get more of that pull up motion and just get more reps of it in instead of doing TRX rows. I'm trying to be somewhat strategic about this workout because I feel like no matter how I set it up in here, because I'm doing supine rows, my transition time is gonna be a little bit off. But today's vault workout is one that I have been expecting to see for a long time, but this is not how I expected to see it. Because today we are doing Hermes, which is the god of luck, husbandry, sleep, language, thieves, and travel. Didn't know he had such a uh, long title I thought he was more or less just a trickster kind of guy and so it's gonna be kind of a, a different feel I really expected this because I knew he was the winged feet God um, and I knew that he was a god of luck I expected this to be something fast really really fast like Rhea I expected this to be double unders dumbbell snatch something that's just fast that if you don't do it on broken you're really gonna be killing your time but that's not what today is, and I, I'm a little surprised because today we're doing four rounds. Each round is a three minute AMRAP, which that part I did kind of expect, something short and fast. But the movement is gonna be seven power cleans, hang power cleans, seven pull-ups, seven jump overs. So that's why I have my gym set up the way it is today, and that's why I kind of think my, my transition time is gonna be hurting a little bit because the way I have my gym set up is I'm gonna go from the double or the, the dumbbell power cleans right here over to the supine rows and then over here for the jump overs. So it's not super nice and linear like I try to make these most of the time, but I'm gonna do the most I can try and keep my time down a little bit. It's not gonna be that bad. I really just think the supine rows because I'm adding steps into it, that setup time is gonna take a little bit longer than what it normally would. But otherwise, I'm gonna be able to go right into the jump overs. But this is a really interesting feel for a workout. Um, I just, I don't know what to make of these three movements together. I'm not sure what to make of it as a workout. I think it's gonna be challenging. I think I would like to hit two rounds in each set and we'll see how that breaks down we'll see if i can maintain it but i think if i can hit two four times so eight rounds total i think i'll be good with that but we're gonna have to find out it's hermes today let's go
Okay, so Hermes is over. Difficulty wise, pretty much right where I expected it to be. Goal wise, unfortunately, is a little bit embarrassing. I should have gotten to every round, no problem. Except for the round three, I completely just zoned out. Started thinking, my mind started to wander, and I looked over and the round was completely over. So I only got one round, or one set in round three, which is not even close to what I wanted to be at. There's a giant bee in here. Leave it alone and it won't bug you. Anyway, is that a wasp? No, I think it's a bee. Anyway, so that was obviously not a good representation of what I knew I could do. Getting two rounds each time should have been very feasible. I should have been able to do that, but I just, I, I got distracted. And the reason that I got distracted is I just have been thinking a lot about where I'm at fitness-wise because I got done doing those supine rows and they were very difficult. And I want to go into this more in depth, I think, in a future video, something where I can just sit down and talk about it a little bit and talk about the, I guess, mindset of trying to lose weight and trying to get really fit because it's just, it's different. I've been at this for a long time and it's frustrating because I'm not where I think I should be yet. And it's not even just, oh, I'm being my own worst critic. There's not much of an excuse other than just being lazy for, for my lack of progress. There's no reason that in three years I, I can't run a 5K consistently. I can't do pull-ups. There just, there isn't much of an excuse for it. And that's been, it's just been weighing on me a lot lately. Weight loss is hard, especially now in, I think in the world of social media, it gets very, very difficult because no matter how much you say to not compare yourself, you no matter how much you, you can t tell people not to compare themselves, it's almost impossible not to in one way or another. Yeah. I think I want to dive more into that in a future video, um, but that's what distracted me. Just that thought hit me and it's been frustrating me a lot lately, especially as this, this vault comes to a close because I felt like I was seeing some really tremendous progress in the vault. And then ever since I got sick, it's like I'm back at square one and it has nothing to do with me being sick. But I feel like this happens to me all the time where I'm consistent and I make some really remarkable progress and then all of a sudden something happens and I might have a week or two where I'm inconsistent or I'm not very not as firm and it's like everything goes away and it's like I'm back at square one I'm in a position now where I am desperately trying but I cannot stop the scale from going up it's not added muscle I'm gaining weight and I don't know why and it's frustrating, and when I get frustrated, I get stressed. And when I get stressed, that encourages weight gain. And then when that all starts to happen, my knee-jerk reaction is to eat. I'm a stress eater, I know that. And so it's, it's tough. This is, this is a battle. I always hoped I could be one of the people on YouTube that I would start my channel, I was gonna lose, you know, 100 pounds in a year and a half and I was gonna document the whole thing and it was gonna be this super great success story and it's just not happening. End of rant, I'm, I'll discuss it more. It's just frustrating, plain and simple. So leave a comment below, all you people who love to tell me to quit. I'm not quitting, I'm gonna keep going. No matter what you tell me, I don't care. Keep commenting though, because it helps my videos. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully another one this week. We're all in progress. I've been saying that since the beginning. Sometimes I feel like uh, my progress is stalemate, but one thing that I always remember, and I think Jordan Syatt it, on Instagram is the one who says this the most, and I'm not gonna quote him directly because I try not to swear on this channel, but you can't mess this up. When it comes to weight loss, you, you really can't mess it up. There's, you can't. The only way you mess it up, the only way you fail, is if you quit. It's all on me. So as long as I don't quit, I'm still succeeding. 
It's just fighting off that urge to quit. Stay in progress, people. So just real quick, I wanted to, I just want to say, I know that wasn't the most like, happy ending to a video and I don't mean for this to come across as Cody's complaining and I I know to some it will no matter what I say but what I, I just want to stress here is that the weight loss journey is not the same for everybody it's not the same for me as it is for you I can find countless people on Instagram who were able to just drop weight and keep it off I am finding more and more that it's it's not me that can do that for whatever reason i have to stay consistent i have to stay on the ball otherwise i gain weight back super quickly um, i will go weeks tracking every calorie that i intake and then i'll take a week off and i'll gain 10 pounds and that's not an exaggeration it's tough i need to not only be consistent i need to be almost perfect in my in my routine to see progress and that's just hard to do it's hard for me to do week over week and then i start to trip and then that spirals and it, it gets discouraging and that's that's where i'm at right now and i don't think i showcase that enough on this channel that there are times in this weight loss journey that it does get discouraging but you all have seen me have great results you guys have seen me relatively thin you've seen me at my worst my worst over 300 pounds and thank goodness i have never been back there i have not been close to being back to over 300 pounds but i'm just not where i think i should be and i the only person i can blame for that is me and i know that i just know i need to do better and i know i need to actually listen to my words and remember that i'm in progress and actually enjoy this progression enjoy these moments when I feel less than adequate because I know it'll just make my goals, getting my goals that much better. So I, I'm, I'm really trying not to end this on a negative note. I hope you understand that. I hope you think that I believe the words I'm saying. And truly, just remember, stay in progress, don't quit. It's the only way you can mess this up. Have a great day.